Hi everyone, I'm Chris O'Neill from So The Distance. Thank you for joining me today as I talk about the five habits that I've been working on for 2024. Now, I didn't give an update in February. Honestly, life got a little crazy in February. We had a lot of personal stuff going on and just, yeah, life was nuts. So I didn't work on my habits that much. Instead of letting that derail me, however, I decided that I'm going to pick myself back up and get started again, work on those habits, and I did so in the month of March. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a recap, tell you my score, because I like to give myself a score for the habits that I've been working on, and just talk about each one, and hopefully it inspires you to also implement some of your habits, or some habits, or goals, or whatever it may be, into your own quilting life. So let's start with habit one, which was keeping my cutting table clear. Now, I'm only giving myself a three out of five on this, because honestly I removed that sign and I think that just totally derailed me I didn't have that reminder that I needed to keep it clear I was a little complacent and thought I was good and I wasn't and things just started piling and piling and piling on it I have since re returned that sign to its spot <laughs> and made sure that it's on there I do want to make a better sign because it is kind of junky I quickly put it together and I'd also like to reclaim my thread spool thingy that I have it on and I learned a valuable lesson I shouldn't be complacent with these goals because having a clean cutting surface has really changed my quilting life it's a space that I can use instead of having to move all the stuff off of it before I used it so habit number two, I did great at. So that's good, I'm gonna redeem myself a little bit. Uh, I gave myself a five out of five on that. I finished so many projects this month and I also prepared myself going forward for more projects. I put together packets of my flimsies with backings and I even made some note cards to remind me of what I need to do and the steps I need to take to finish these quilts because my goal is to finish all of these quilts this year. And it's coming along well. I am so proud of myself for the way I did it. Habit number three is establishing healthy quilting environment stuff. <laughs> so I wanted to work on air quality, which I did. I ended up buying an air purifier. It has worked wonders. Every time I start sewing, it comes on, which just tells me that there's so much dust in the air when we do so even though I knew that because of the contraption I used in month one to figure that out. It still is a nice reminder that I am breathing better quality air with the air purifier in here and on. And in February and even March, I worked on staying hydrated. Let me show you what I bought. I got one of the Stanley <laughs> big jugs of water. This is 40 ounces and it's really helped me stay hydrated. The thing is I have to remember to fill it. And if I do that, if I do that first thing in the morning, I'm great for the day and then I'll refill it later. But if I forget to fill it in the morning, I kind of get derailed from it. So I'm giving myself a four out of five because I am taking steps to be healthier. Going forward, my goal is to remodel this sewing room. I've thought about it and tried to do it many times and I never did, but this is the year, this is the time I'm going to do it. I'm gonna make sure that it is a beautiful place where I can come and work because I do find that if I have a beautiful area, I am happier, more content, and that's really important to me. So I'm gonna put this aside out of the shot here. <laughs> and we're gonna move on to free motion quilting. So I get a zero out of five for this. I still haven't taken the plunge. I still haven't done any, I still haven't practiced. I haven't done anything, but I did think about it. <laughs> and I also did some straight stitch machine quilting, which I'm actually really liking. I'm liking different textures and adding different um, patterns to my quilts, but I haven't done free motion quilting. I did, however, sign up for a class for free motion quilting. So that's progress, right? I think so. That class is at the end of April, so I'll definitely give you an update in the May update of my goals and tell you how that went. And finally, habit number five, I have done great with, and this is working in the quilting community and engaging more. I've done workshops, I've taken classes, I participated in some community quilt projects. So I'm giving myself a four out of five. There's still room for improvement because I'd like to take that online class that I talked about before, but I, I, I'm really proud of myself on that. So overall, I did great, I think, for the past two months. And I'm very proud of myself for not stopping when I missed kind of February as a focus. Month two, I mean, month two of my 12 month goal. That's pretty bad, right? <laughs> but I forgave myself and moved on, got back on track in March, and am ready to keep going with the rest of the year, which is a fourth over? A fourth over, right? Yeah. Is it a fourth? Yes, a fourth over already. So I'm gonna keep going with it and I hope you are too. Let me know in the comments if you have goals for 2024 and how you're doing. I also have a goal worksheet on my website that you can download and it'll help you keep on track with your goals that you have and give yourself scores as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you take some time to sew and I'll see you real soon. Bye.